Hello and welcome back to a, uh, another tutorial on um, Game Maker Studio in relation to uh, Steam and Steamworks. This is uh, going to be a quick tutorial talking about how to add achievements into your Game Maker game uh, onto Steam. Before you can implement any achievements, you need to have um, your game added to Steam via Steamworks. So I recommend watching uh, that first video yet if you do not have your game on Steamworks yet and are trying to figure out how to upload that. There are two main types of achievements in Steam. There are uh, direct achievements and then there's achievements that are linked to a thing called stats. So I'm going to show you how to implement straightforward achievements first and then achievements that are linked to stats. Both are pretty straightforward, especially if you follow along, but there isn't a lot of documentation currently. What you need to do first is hop onto um, Steamworks here. And uh, you'll want to go to Apps and Packages, All Applications. You should see your game here. And you want to go onto the Steamworks admin. Uh, the store admins where you update your graphics and everything like that uh, for your Steam page. Steamworks admin is going to be things like achievements and your applications. So now that we're on here, um, I talked lots about in the last video, applications, Steam pipes, and everything. Uh, where I want to go to stats and achievements. Stats, like I said, are going to be linked to stat-based achievements. I'll talk about that later. First of all, what we're going to talk about is straightforward achievements. So click on Achievements tab, and here you have all the achievements that you've already added. So I'm going to press New Achievements here, and then scroll down to the bottom. I have along here at the bottom, New Achievement with some information to fill out. So on the top left here, this is the name of the achievement in regards to what you will call it in your code. So the player won't ever see this. This is for you for easy code. Um, I'm going to be adding in a code for finding a forest totem in the forest. So I'm going to call this all in caps forest underscore totem. Here is the name that the player will see um, on Steve when viewing their achievements. So I'm going to call this something a bit more exciting than forest underscore totem. I will, let's say, call this echo of the totem, right? Underneath here, as it says, this is the description. So I can write discover a forest totem allowing you to traverse deeper into the forest. Right here, this is an option to have the uh, achievement hidden. So, you know, on Steam, sometimes some achievements are hidden until you unlock it. If you want it hidden, press the button. If you don't, don't press it. Here you have uh, two different um, images for achievements. I believe it says at the top here, achieved icon and unachieved icon. So the achieved icon is what it'll look like after you've unlocked it. Unachieved is what it will be called when you haven't unlocked it. Um, I have here just very simple icon for achieved, press upload, and icon for unachieved, hit upload. Sometimes uh, Steamworks bugs out. I don't know if this is my computer problem or not, but if it does, I just press save and there'll be no images. I'll press edit again and re-click the achievement icons, and then usually it fixes itself. No idea why it does that. Sometimes I have to load it, press upload, and then save it. Anyways, now we have an achievement added to the game that uh, we will refer to as forest underscore totem. Now what we'll want to do is hop into our game in Game Maker Studio. So here we are in Game Maker Studios. Uh, you can see Village of Origins up top. We already have our Steamworks um, add-on added from our marketplace. 
like I said, before adding um, any achievements, you'll want to have um, your Steamworks connected to your game in Game Maker Studio. So everyone codes differently. Um, I have a large script file of um, all the stats that get added to the game. One of the stats is uh, finding a forest totem. It adds to the DS grid uh, the stat value. Um, if you find 10 totems, you unlock the druid. So what I'm wanting to do now is add a uh, code to be able to check um, if I have uh, the Steam achievement. And if I do not have the Steam achievement, I will want to add it. So what do you want to do first is do if oops, if Steam stats ready. So what that's going to be checking is have uh, your Steam linked up. So this way, if you're playing your game on your computer and you don't actually have it linked up to Steam yet, it's not going to load an error message because it's going to see, hey, uh, this game isn't linked to your Steam API right now, and just ignore it. Then what you want to do is check to see if you've unlocked that Steam achievement already. So you will do is if exclamation mark mean you have not done it, Steam get achievement, and then it needs the achievement name. And this would be the name that we named it, which was forest underscore totem, all capitals. So if you have not unlocked the achievement, what you want to do is steam set achievement. You guessed it, forest underscore totem. If your achievement name was something different, then you would name it that instead. Now what you need to do is you want to update Steam so that way it properly adds it. So this should allow you to be able to check that the game is linked to Steam. And if it is, it checks to see if you've unlocked the achievement and then it adds it. I found sometimes this bugs out. I don't know if this was just for me, but if you also create it and find you're not getting that achievement to properly call, what I've done is, before checking it, I quickly update Steam, reinitialize it, and then update it one more time. What this does is it just quickly updates Steam, makes sure it's connected, and then updates it again. This doesn't use up any actual like processing power. It's, it's a very quick thing it would do. And it guarantees that uh, when you're checking this Steam achievement, that Steam is initialized and updated in time. And just like that, you now have a Steam achievement. Next, we're going to look at is Steam achievement linked to um, stats. So here we are back um, on our achievement thing. If I go back here and I press stats, I can see uh, the stats I have. So currently I have a stat linked to death because I have achievement where if you die 50 times, then you um, get an achievement. So these stats are not bound to a singular play file. So if I die 20 times and then start a new game and die 30 times, Steam keeps track of how many times this specific user has died rather than a particular play file. Um, so if I do a new stat here, I have a few options. I have an integer, which is just whole numbers counting up, you know, one, two, three, four. Uh, there's also floats. This would be if you want a very precise decimal number. Uh, you might have seen Steam achievements where it's like, you know, traverse 5,000 kilometers, and it says, like, on your progress, like, 23.45 uh, kilometers out of 5,000 or something. Those would be float. Um, average rate is just calculating average percentage in case you're doing, like, score an average of something. 
Um, I don't know when you'd actually use average rate for a Steam achievement. It would more so be linked to like leaderboards and stuff like that. Anyways, um, I'm going to do an integer. And this is going to be linked to how many kills you have done. Increment only means that the value can only increase, never decrease. Uh, here you have is max change, so how much do you want people to go up at a time? I'm doing an achievement on uh, killing a certain amount of enemies. So it's only going to go up by one because you can only defeat one enemy at a time. Uh, the min value is zero because you start with zero enemies defeated and you can't have negative enemies defeated. I'm going to have the achievement that you defeat 500 enemies. So I have the max value set to 500. Maybe eventually I'll do one that says 1,000 or whatever you want to send it to. Uh, display name is going to be um, enemies defeated. And we'll press save. And now we have here, so on the API, it's going to be called kills, so when I call it on GameMaker and refer to it as kills, uh, the player is going to see it as enemies defeated, and it's going to show a value of 25 out of whatever. It's going to show X out of uh, 500. So if you've defeated 300 enemies, they'll say 300 out of 500. In a single playthrough, you might not kill 500 enemies. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. But that's why I have it linked to a stat rather than in-game checking if you defeated 500 enemies. So with that added now, we would go back to Achievements, press New Achievement, and down at the bottom, we're going to make a new achievement. I'm going to call this Enemies Defeated. And then on the Progress stat, I'm going to link it to Kills, min value being 0, max is 500. So if you were, let's say, having three different achievements where you defeated 100, 300, and 500 enemies, this is when that max value would be different than the max value on um, the stats tab. So I'm going to name this one here um, Enemy Eradicator, and I'm going to make the description defeat 500 enemies. Right, nothing too crazy. Just like before, I'm going to press Browse. I'm going to add these two here. I'm going to press Upload. It's going to bug out, not add them. I'm going to press Save, and then Edit again. There we go, and there we go. So uh, here we are back in Game Maker Studios. Um, like I said, I have all my stats on a thing called Add Stats. And here we have Add Hostile Enemies Killed. We add it to the grid, unlock Barbarian. What we're going to do here now is also update on Steam API that we are increasing the value of the enemies they're defeated. So what we'll do is Steam set stat. And here you have the option to increase your average rate, your float, or your integer. I set it as an integer, so we'll do that. It wants to know the name. I named it kills. We're going to be increasing it by steam get stat integer. Kills plus one. So we're going to be increasing our kills stat by whatever our current stat is, plus 1. So if it's 0, it'll be 0 plus 1. If it's 45, 45 plus 1, and so on. Next, what we'll do is, same as before, if steam get stat integer kills. So if our stat kills is equal to 500, If Steam get achievement, we called it we called it enemies defeated. 
So if you do not have the achievement enemies defeated, we will set the achievement enemies defeated. So once you have all of this, you want to also make sure that you update uh, Steam as well. Um, otherwise, Steam won't get notified they are updating that integer. So you want to do that. And um, like I said before, this code should be sufficient. But if you find yourself having issues uh, with the Steam achievement triggering, you can make sure that Steam is initialized and then update Steam again. But this code isn't completely necessary. It's more so if you find there's issues popping up. As long as you're initializing Steam and updating it at the start of the game, you should be okay. But this can be added if you find yourself running into issues. Game boots up. And here we are. Uh, we have a bunch of little test runs and stuff. If I go and um, start up a game here, let's go and test out uh, some of the things that we added here. To, um, enter the forest here. And I see some potential podums. Let's see here if I interact with this totem here, you can see I unlocked the achievement for discovering a forest totem. Likewise, if I open up my stats here and view in progress, uh, you can see there's a couple I've added that I haven't properly checked yet. Uh, enemy eradicator. You can see I killed that one goblin there, and it says one out of 500. So that concludes the uh, tutorial. I hope it is helpful to you. If you have any questions at all, uh, message me at any time. And if there's any other thing you need help with, just let me know. Uh, thank you.